Hello my Beatles friends, welcome back to another video. As you can see from background, we're still talking about Revolver, and I think I'll be talking about Revolver till the day of release, until I make the unboxing. Uh, this video I decided to dedicate to the cover. As you all know, a couple of days ago I visited Klaus himself in, um, uh, in his studio, and I've been asking about origins of those pictures, and so I thought to myself, why not trace every possible picture that was used to create this masterpiece. So, this video will be dedicated to this research. And I made a very detailed re re research, sorry, I'm a bit nervous, a detailed research, and I found that only uh, 26 images were involved in creating this cover. I'm not talking about the images that were uh, used to cut or cut the lips or the eyes. I'm talking about the images that we see here. Because uh, using those uh, lips and the eyes and this ear, ear could be uh, misleading. It could be taken from many pictures and you don't know that for sure. I'm talking about the visual picture that you really can trace. So I counted here 26 images. Also, I'm including those images that were used to draw these four faces. Yeah, four faces. So we're talking about 26 images in total. Now, uh, the life goes easier because 15 of those pictures were made by Robert Freeman, the majority. And way back then in the 60s, we didn't have any documentation or... Um, they didn't have, I wasn't even born yet, um, well, they didn't have a documentation like all the pictures together. You had to go to different magazines or tour programs. But today, in 2000, uh, 2022, the life is easier because, thanks to uh, Robert Freeman, he released this book. It says, The Beatles, A Private View by Robert Freeman. There are two editions of this book, the bigger one, this, this one, and there is a smaller one, but the content is absolutely identical. One picture does not appear in this book, but uh, in the tour program of 1964 with the Beatles for Sale cover, the tour program, uh, it's man it, this picture appears there, but I couldn't find that picture published elsewhere after that, and it's made by Robert Freeman. I will uh, mention that picture when uh, I'll be showing you all those pictures from this book. Okay, now, uh, which leaves us with 11 pictures made by other artists. Um, I could trace another four by other artists and another seven uh, problematic to find. But we'll get there by the end of the video. All right? So, uh, right now I'm going to switch to uh, GoPro mode or maybe in a, a smartphone mode. Uh, and I will show you images that appear on um, Revolver Lab combo cover. So, let's go. So, picture number one. Ringo sitting on a drum kit. This is this one. Picture number two. John. This is this one. Holding Ringo's leg. <laughs> Image number three, Ringo tying his tie, which is this one. Number four, John, this one. Number five, Paul. Number six, John, the biggest one here. Number seven, Paul lying in the studio. That's the one. Lying here as well. Here we have three. Eight, nine, and ten. So, this is eight. Paul here. George here. And Ringo here. Ten. Actually, two more can be taken from the rubber sole back cover. This is John here, which is this one. And George, which is this one. So it's 12. Number 13, this one, is used to sit on John's ear. Gatefold of Beatles for Sale, 
which is used here. There is another one, uh, this one. Uh, this one was taken in Kenwood, in John's house, where he is sitting against the giant boot that was used in the movie Help. Now, I know that this picture was made by Robert Freeman as well, but it does not appear in this book, unfortunately. It appears on the 1964 tour program. Okay, so I traced 15. Now uh, I have 11 more to go. I know that this picture here was taken by Deza Hoffman on the beach. This image here that is unknown, it is actually privately given by the Beatles to Klaus. This Klaus picture was shot by um, late Astrid Kircher when Klaus was in his first ever band, PKG. This image, which is also unknown, Klaus told me that it was uh, shot on some boat trip. Uh, but unfortunately, I could not trace uh, that picture. This image, I do not know where this image was taken. I'm still looking. If any one of you who knows where this picture is taken from, just let me in the comment section below. This is John smoking the cigarette. This image here was taken by a fish, uh, using a fish lens by Alfred Aronowitz, March 21st, 1964, which was published in the magazine Stern. Uh, this image by Paul pointing was made by Detza Hoffman. So we have two images by Detza Hoffman, this one in the studio and this one on the beach. And now we're left with four big pictures. The profile of Paul, Ringo, George and John. I assume that this John's picture was drawn by Klaus from uh, this image which is the cover of his book in his own right. This picture was taken also by uh, Robert Freeman. This Paul's picture was taken from uh, this image made in May 1965 in Paris by the French photographer Jean-Marie Perrier. Excuse my pronunciation. And these two images by Ringo and George are taken from these two pictures, respectively. Ringo is definitely taken from this one. Unfortunately, I do not know who's the photographer. Same wise with George. I don't know who is the photographer. But the eyes and mouth of George are taken from this image by Norman Parkinson on September 12th. 1963. I always thought that this uh, Ringo image was taken from the help still, but I'm already not sure. All right, so that was it. Uh, that was a quite a journey. We traced all 26 images used by Klaus to create uh, this uh, masterpiece. And that was quite a research, quite a, like, like, like a lesson. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you in my next videos and uh, yeah, I hope to make an unboxing. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye.